Hey guys, it's Danny, and welcome to my review of the Smeg Toaster. This is the two slice version. This is the one I've had for five years in my kitchen. I love this thing. Now the Smeg Toaster features a beautiful 1950s aesthetic with an all metal body on it. Now for controls, you have a one to six brownness setting and a keep warm setting, as well as a defrost button and a bagel button. Now keep in mind these one to six and the keep warm function are not necessarily uh, timers. Like the one does not equal one minute. Nope. Really what it is, it's, it's attached to a potentiometer inside of the toaster that as you turn it, builds a different resistance and looks for a different temperature setting. It's clearly based on some sort of internal temperature setting that it reaches. Now what does that defrost button actually do? Well, I actually took a thermostat and I looked at the temperatures and they were all in the high 600s whether I use defrost or not. So they're pretty much the same. The only consistent thing I noticed was that on the defrost, it added anywhere between five to 15 seconds. It features a metal knob that goes up and down and it does have quite the expulsion system on it, I must say. It even features a uh, coil wrap on the bottom. So those of you who wanna keep it nice and clean near your kitchen wall, uh, you don't have to have all that co cord hanging out. Now, some things I like about this toaster, for my purposes, I think it cooks pretty consistently and mostly even on all slices of toast. I'm kind of a light toast dude and I'm not real picky about evenness. I just want it to be crispy on the outside with a little bit of chewiness on the inside. Just, you know, that morning pickup when you're making breakfast. However, I have seen some criticisms of this toaster. Some people seem to have found that there's some inconsistencies in maybe the quality control. For instance, one lady had the toaster over toasting everything for whatever reason. Uh, and she exchanged it like three times and they still couldn't get it fixed. So I don't really know what's going on with that. I feel like it's a fluke. I don't necessarily think that's a reason you shouldn't buy it. However, I did tear this thing apart just to look at the quality of the components on the inside. I didn't see anything abnormal. The bagel button will toast a bagel on the outside only. So essentially the outside filaments will get hot, but the inside won't. So you can make sure your bagel is nice and toasty on the outside and then the bulk of it is not overdone. So yeah, overall, this is not necessarily a fancy toaster by any means, it just looks great. Which honestly, if we can be honest, that's the reason you're buying it is because you're trying to make your kitchen beautiful and that's fine. And over the last five years, mine has worked great. So I can recommend it safely. This has been Danny Pops. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.